Wagyu beef is famous around the world for being exceptionally tasty, marbly, and with a taste that can knock your socks off. And then, of course, there's the high price tag associated with it, with just a pound costing $1.200. Wagyu beef is indeed a luxury item for a reason, as many chefs worldwide are convinced that Wagyu cattle produce the finest beef money can buy. But what makes Wagyu beef so special? Join us in this video as we look at why Wagyu beef is so expensive. Modern Beef Processing Factory. It might be helpful first to understand what Wagyu cows are. For those who don't know, it means Japanese cattle. The WA stands for Japan, and the GYU means cow or cattle. For almost 2,000 years, cows in Japan were purely used as labor animals. In fact, there's documented evidence showing the origins of Wagyu cattle, which first came over to Japan from northern China around 200 AD. Once in Japan, they were used on farms and forestry for transporting goods, breeding, and even pulling carts containing nobles and aristocrats. These cows weren't used for meat or milk at the time. This is due to the ban on eating four-legged animals in the country since the 6th century for cultural and religious reasons. During this period, Japanese cattle were often far smaller, horned beasts of labor with various colorations. However, with the Meiji Restoration in 1868, Western food was introduced in Japan. Then, just a few years later, in 1872, the Meiji Emperor broke the taboo and celebrated the New Year by eating beef. Of course, this didn't sit well with everyone at the time. In February of that year, 10 monks broke into the palace to plead with the emperor. They said the consumption of meat was ruining the souls of the Japanese people. Four of the monks were killed in the attempt, and the news was scuttled in the local press to maintain authority. But despite their efforts, a new wave of cuisine has arrived in Japan. Between 1868 and 1919, Japanese cattle farmers imported thousands of meat-bearing cows to mix with their tougher breeds. After decades of crossbreeding Japanese cattle with foreign cattle, four major cattle breeds were determined to be superior and became the predominant breeds into the 20th century. These four breeds, Kuroge Black, Akage Brown, Nihon Tankaku Shorthorn, and Mukaku Pold are the ones we consider Wagyu today. The Wagyu's 6000 mile journey to the United States began in 1975 when Morris Whitney, while doing research for Colorado University, imported two black Wagyu and two red Wagyu bulls. At that time, no Wagyu heifers, female Wagyu cows, were in America. So the Japanese bulls were paired with Angus, Holstein, Hereford, and Brangus cows from Texas. From there, American Wagyu breeding began its gradual evolution. In 1997, Japanese officials declared Wagyu cattle a national treasure. An export ban on live Wagyu cattle was enacted to protect this status. This has helped keep authentic Japanese Wagyu exclusive to Japan. However, since the Wagyu bloodline was already introduced in the U.S., American Wagyu beef, Wagyu crossed with American breed cattle, gained interest. The four breeds of Wagyu all differ in physical color and the color of the cut of meat, texture, and significance. The Kuroge is the most common breed in Japan and comprises about 90% of the Wagyu cattle breeds. It is popular for its exquisite flavor due to its fat and intensive marbling. It is the breed most often used to produce highly marbled Wagyu beef. Akage, also known as Red Wagyu, is a breed only found in Kochi Prefecture and Kumamoto Prefecture. What sets it apart from other breeds is that it's a healthier breed of cattle. Therefore, its meat is lean but firm with a fine texture. Nihon Tankaku can only be found in the northern part of Japan. 
What sets it apart from other Wagyu is that its meat takes time because it's lean. Last but not least is the Mukaku. Among all Wagyu breeds, this one has the smallest population. The meat it produces has a high lean content and a distinct flavor. But how is Wagyu beef reared to produce such high quality meat? Stick around as we delve into that. Raising cattle to produce Wagyu beef is carried out most meticulously. Japanese farmers honed their techniques to ensure cows developed evenly marbled fat deposits and didn't build tense, tough meat. For the cattle, this means a lot of pampering that could be a dream come true. In Japan, grazing is relatively rare, even with tethering. Grazing areas are only available on mountainsides and in other remote areas where rice and other crops cannot be grown. Also, as each Wagyu beast is extremely valuable, and the herds are so small, owners do not wish to risk the physical dangers associated with grazing. As such, most Japanese cattle live their entire lives in barns and adjoining pens. Calves are raised with their mothers on breeding farms and both are always confined to small pens. The cows and calves are hand-fed on various grains and commercial feeds, as well as a wide range of roughages and fodders, including freshly cut green grass, silage, hay, rice straw, and in some cases, industrial byproducts and wastes from agricultural processing plants such as canneries. Almost all Wagyu calves are creep-fed with special concentrate rations from about two to three months of age. In August, September, and October, their diet experienced a change. The cattle are fed beer and sake during this period because they would suffer from the heat and lose their appetite. The temperature in the cow shed is about 27, 28 degrees Celsius, and it is 30 degrees outside. They are given a bottle of beer a day until their appetite returns. They get no beer at all if they have a healthy appetite. Calves are weaned between eight and 10 months old and sold as feeder calves to fattening farmers or replacement heifers to breeding farmers. Most of these calves are auctioned one at a time on a per head basis, which is more expensive than a typical Angus breed at special calf auction centers in the major breeding areas. When they're in the hands of the farmers, they need to follow proper care and a good diet to produce good meat. These cows are taken to feeding farms where they can graze in a peaceful environment. Consider it like the spa of cows, and they're there for quite a long time until they're fully grown. The cows are given plenty of room to move inside the pens and more room outside to graze. The cows are cared for on the feeding farms until they reach two to three years old or gain 1,500 pounds. Most farmers provide the cows with three meals daily from high energy ingredients. Once a month, they are weighed and expected to gain 2.5 pounds daily. As mentioned, Wagyu cattle are raised in stress-free environments. Farmers do ensure that they get the best care to prevent tensed muscles. They do this by making sure the cattle don't go through rigorous activity and stress. Farmers may need a stiff brush to help increase blood circulation and help cows release muscle tension. Wagyu needs to be in a stress-free environment. Otherwise, stress can increase adrenaline, which can lead to muscle tension. As a result, you get tough meat. Diverse methods are employed for fattening pigs in Japan. The ordinary or popular fattening system, also known as young steer fattening, is vital to the beef breeding industry. Steers typically enter the fattening phase at around 10 months of age and are slaughtered between 27 and 28 months of age. In the case of females, there are two approaches to fattening, the old cow system and the ideal method for virgin heifers. In the old cow system, specialist fatteners buy cows that have finished breeding or fieldwork. 
These animals are usually between six and eight years old, although they can be much older. The fattening farmer would often keep only one cow and devote much time and care to fattening it for five to eight months to marble the meat before slaughter. Each massage takes around 20 minutes and is only done in May through October using oil and a special straw brush. One of the differences between Wagyu beef and other beef from premium cattle such as Brahman and Black Angus is that most of the meat in the grocery store comes from factory farms with plenty of land and cows. Wagyu beef, however, comes from Japan and is far smaller than that in the United States. The feedlots in Japan may only hold anywhere between 10 and 100 cattle. This means that the cattle raised for Wagyu beef are in far shorter supply, and thus that contributes to why Wagyu beef is so expensive. One of the factors that sets Wagyu beef apart from others is marbling. Marbling is white intramuscular fat, IMF, found in red meat, which appears as fine flecks within the muscle. This differs from intermuscular fat, which refers to the fat found between the muscles that are typically cut off before cooking. Unlike intermuscular fat, marbling greatly impacts the flavor, texture, tenderness, and juiciness of Wagyu beef. Highly marbled meat has an incredibly full flavor and creamy texture, which is why it's considered the ultimate option for many Japanese Wagyu lovers. The intramuscular fat melts into the steak, adding a rich, buttery flavor. It also helps keep the meat moist and tender, preventing the natural juices from evaporating while cooking. The result, at least when prepared and cooked properly, is an unforgettable eating experience. Some cattle breeds are more likely to have high marbling than others. Because Japanese Wagyu is a top quality breed of cattle, the meat can be extremely marbled, which no doubt contributes to the luxurious taste and texture of the meat. Along with helping to provide tenderness and flavor, the intramuscular fat, or marbling, in Japanese Wagyu beef contains nutrients, such as healthy fatty acids like omega-3 and omega-6. Due to its crucial role in meat quality and taste, marbling is one of the most important factors considered in beef grading scales in the US, Japan, and around the globe. Essentially, the more marbling, the higher the quality of the beef. In Japan, the Japanese Wagyu registry has a grading system based on a beef marbling scale, BMS, from one to 12, with 12 being the highest quality. The marbling score of Wagyu beef generally ranges from 3 to 12, where 12 represents extremely high levels of marbling. To have a BMS 3 grade, the beef must have at least 21% intramuscular fat. Trained assessors will measure the marbling's amount, distribution, and texture, visible via the amount of fat flex in the beef. In this grading system, a 5 is the highest marbling score possible and represents beef with an extremely high level of marbling. A four and A3 grades of Wagyu beef have slightly less marbling than A5, but are still considered to be a very high quality. A three and A4 grades are more affordable than A5 and are still worth trying if you're on a budget. The marbling score is important because it affects the meat's taste, texture, and tenderness. A high quality marbling score means the meat will have a better flavor and a more buttery texture. It will also be more tender and juicy than beef with a lower marbling score. Of course, even at the lower end of the BMS scale, Japanese Wagyu is still far superior in quality and flavor to grocery store beef and rates higher than USDA prime grade steak. The BMS score is based on the ribeye muscle of each cow where the expert assessors measure the amount, distribution, and texture of the marbling or visible fat flecks in the beef.
It's important to know that the Japanese beef marbling scale is different from the U.S. and Australian grading systems, as well as from the Japanese Wagyu beef grading system. With that said, BMS scores are considered in the beef grading system when grading the overall quality of Wagyu beef. While the marbling grading system is a crucial aspect of producing quality Wagyu beef, it's not the only thing that matters. The cooking process also plays a big role in determining the flavor and quality of the beef. So how is the Wagyu beef cooked to produce the signature melting taste? And what are its other use cases in the culinary world? We'll delve into that in a bit. The culinary world has embraced Wagyu beef as a canvas for creativity. Cooking Wagyu beef has become a culinary art. Accomplished chefs seek to showcase the meat's nuances while preparing it in various ways. Its high fat content and marbling make it more forgiving to cook than leaner meats. But the key to unlocking its full flavor potential lies in the proper technique. The traditional way to cook Wagyu beef is through the Japanese method of yakiniku, or grilling meat over an open flame. This method involves thinly slicing the beef and grilling it over high heat for a short time, resulting in a crispy exterior and a juicy interior. Another traditional method is shabu shabu, a Japanese hot pot dish where thinly sliced Wagyu is cooked in a broth and served with vegetables and dipping sauces. Wagyu beef is also a popular ingredient in Japanese sashimi and sushi. The meat is thinly sliced and served raw, allowing you to appreciate its unique flavor and texture. However, modern techniques have also allowed various creative ways to prepare Wagyu beef. Sous vide cooking produces a perfectly cooked and tender cut, where the meat is vacuum sealed and cooked in a water bath at a precise temperature. Slow cooking methods, such as braising or roasting, also allow the Wagyu flavors to develop, resulting in a melt-in-your-mouth experience. Another unique way to cook Wagyu is using a cedar plank. This method involves grilling the Wagyu on a cedar plank and infusing the meat with the wood's aromatic flavors. Another option is searing the Wagyu on a cast iron skillet creating a crispy crust while retaining the meat's tenderness. Wagyu beef is also well-suited for fusion cuisine, as its rich flavor pairs well with various international ingredients. A Wagyu beef stir-fry with Asian vegetables and sauces or a Wagyu beef taco with Mexican spices are just a couple of examples of how this versatile meat can be incorporated into diverse dishes. Another way to use Wagyu beef is to render the fat into tallow. Tallow is a versatile cooking fat that can be used for all your cooking needs, including everything from frying to sauteing. Wagyu tallow has a unique combination of properties that make it ideal for different types of cooking applications. Its high smoke point makes it great for frying, while its low melting point prevents food from sticking when sauteing or searing at higher temperatures. It also has a mild taste, so it won't overpower delicate dishes like fish or vegetables. Plus, due to its composition, Wagyu tallow contains more monounsaturated fatty acids than other animal fats, which are beneficial for health benefits, such as reducing cholesterol levels and inflammation. The process of rendering Wagyu beef into tallow involves slowly cooking the fat at a low temperature until it liquefies and separates from the other meat components, leaving behind a pure golden yellow oil. This liquid can then be strained to remove any impurities or extra particles before being processed for use in cooking. It's a cooking vegetable that is more versatile than lard and other fats. Wagyu can also be used for burgers. Besides its breeding process, what other factors made Wagyu beef so expensive? Let's look at that next. Wagyu beef is growing in popularity and there are few signs of it slowing.
In 2021, the global Wagyu market was worth more than $11 billion. This was a banner year as Japan exported around 8,000 tons of the gourmet beef cut. The global market is expected to grow by a compound annual growth rate of 6%, making it worth an estimated $16 billion by 2028. Wagyu beef appears to weather the storm despite the food industry being impacted by inflation, supply chain issues, and climate change. From steak to high-priced burgers, the revered protein is becoming more commonly consumed. The reason behind its market growth can be attributed to various factors. The first is being a rich product worth selling in the luxury hospitality sector. Known for its tenderness and buttery, Wagyu has been a fine dining favorite since the 2010s, when Japan lifted its export ban to the United States and European countries. Luxury establishments like restaurants and hotels still fuel the Wagyu beef market today. While some lucky customers can find Wagyu in high-end grocery and specialty stores, the market is sustained by a business-to-business -business model, particularly with fine dining. A large majority, 85% of Wagyu sales, are B2B. As a testament to the importance of B2B commerce, it's not uncommon for a Wagyu brand to partner with luxury hotels and restaurants in major cities. But while Wagyu beef is linked to luxury, it's becoming a favorite across income levels. Wagyu is growing into a household name as its lure, flavor, and health benefits become more widely known. Today's consumers are more health conscious and have more disposable income, proving to be a winning combination for the Wagyu beef market. Regardless of inflation, customers are willing to spend more on quality products like premium meats. A recent study showed that 85% of those who consume meat consider health benefits, animal treatment, sustainability, or social responsibility when buying meat products, despite the currently high prices. Wagyu beef is expensive for several reasons. One of them is the cost of feeding. Wagyu cattle aren't fed like normal cattle. They're given a specialized high-energy diet that keeps them happy and healthy while contributing to their famous marbling. They get three meals per day, and those meals are often imported from other countries. In other words, these cows have expensive diets. And the most important of all is the import cost. Wagyu beef comes from Japan. Because of that, if you want it in the US, it must be imported. There's an import quota in the United States. And once that quota has been met, a high import tax is added to all future imports. That means that the beef has to be priced higher as a result. Consumers end up paying for that import tax.